It's the magic of math here, and today my lesson is on operations in scientific notation, where we'll add two values in scientific notation, subtract, multiply, and divide. Here are our learning objectives for today's lesson. You, the student, will be able to interpret scientific notation that has been generated by technology. You will also be able to convert a value written in scientific notation to standard form. And last, you'll be able to perform operations with numbers written in scientific notation. Here's the essential question I'd like you thinking about today as we proceed through the lesson. How can you apply exponent rules to perform operations with numbers written in scientific notation? So that's what you're going to think about as we go through the lesson today. Let's begin with reviewing what is scientific notation. Scientific notation, by definition, is a product of two factors, where the first factor is a number with an absolute value greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And the second factor is a power of 10 with an integer exponent. So here we have a number written in scientific notation. It's a product of two factors. The first factor is a value greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So it has one significant digit to the left of the decimal point. It's multiplied by a power of 10. So this power of 10 means the base is 10 and the exponent is an integer. So it could be positive or negative. But remember, it's the whole numbers, 0, and their opposites. So no fractions, nothing but a whole number or an opposite. So integers. Let's talk about scientific notation and technology. When we see a scientific notation value on technology, it's going to look a little bit different on some calculators or devices. So here, this was on um, just the internet. I pulled up calculator and it gave me 2.5 times 10 to the seventh and this is how they wrote it. So this E, refers to e for exponent. So it's telling me that it's 2.5 multiplied by 10 with an exponent of 7. So when we write that, we can see that our exponent here is 7. That's called e notation. So exponent notation on a calculator. Now it's your turn. I would like you to express the calculator notation in scientific notation. Go ahead and pause the video here do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to review the solution now. So on this device, again, just an internet calculator, 2.5e plus 53. Did you get it? That meant positive 53. So it's sometimes if it's positive, it won't restate the obvious. It'll just put a positive value there. Sometimes you're going to see e positive 53. So that means we have a factor of 2.5, base 10 always for scientific notation, and our exponent is going to be positive 53. So this is scientific notation for this E notation. Let's try another one. Express the calculator notation in scientific notation. So I did this on my phone, took a picture, and now it's yours to write in scientific notation. Pause now, come back when you're done. Welcome back. So here's our solution. Again, we see that we have a factor of 2.5 multiplied, and here our exponent, our E notation is telling us that our exponent is negative 33. So base 10, exponent negative 33. This in scientific notation is equivalent to this calculator E notation. Now that we understand scientific notation, Let's learn how to take scientific notation and write it in standard notation. So I have this value, scientific notation, factor multiplied by my power of 10, and I want to write it in standard notation. Step one, we want to identify the exponent. Here, what we're really looking to see, is it positive or is it negative? So I look at my exponent and I can see it's positive seven. So that means this number is much bigger than 2.5 because this is representing seven decimal places to the right. 
So step two, we're going to write the leading digit of the factor, meaning what's to the left of the decimal point. So we're going to start our number off by writing that leading digit two. Then the next and final step is if the exponent is positive, which it is here, we're going to move the decimal point to the right that many places, adding a zero for each necessary digit. Meaning each necessary digit, I have to continue with this factor. So my first factor after the decimal point is going to be a five. That five is one of these seven. So we're going to write seven digits, five followed by six zeros. We're going to move that decimal point seven decimal places to the right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add my decimal. Now we don't need that decimal there. That decimal point is just there as a placeholder, but we don't need it. Now let's remove the decimal point and add my comma every three digits going from the left. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. So there, 25 million represents 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the seventh. Standard form, scientific notation. Let's try one that we have a ne negative exponent. So again, our first step is going to be to identify the exponent because we want to know what we're dealing with and what direction are we going. So I see that I have a negative exponent. So step two will be to write the factor. In this case, I'm going to write the whole factor because I'm moving in the opposite direction. So our factor is 4.81. 4.81, and we're moving this decimal point. Understanding in a step three, now that we have a negative exponent, we're going to move that decimal point to the left that many places. So the four is one of our five. So we're going to the left because a negative exponent represents a value less than one. Greater than zero if this factor is positive, but less than one. So our four is one of our five. So we're going to move this five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, here's my decimal point, and I'm going to add a zero for my leading value to the left of the decimal. So zero, and then we have one, two, three, four zeros, and the fifth is that leading number, digit to the left of the decimal. So this is standard notation, this is scientific notation, equivalent values. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause here, write this value in standard notation, and then come back to check your work. Welcome back. So we have a positive exponent here. So I know that I'm moving my digit to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decimal places. Now I'm going to add my commas. One, one, two, three, and here's my second. So this value in standard notation is 637 million. So if I put my decimal point right back here, I should have eight values before the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It checks. Let's try another one. Go ahead and pause here. Write this scientific number in standard notation. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's go over the solution. So I'm going to start by writing my factor 5.02 and I'm going to move that decimal point seven spaces to the left because a negative exponent represents a number less than one. So I'm going in the opposite direction, reminding you this five is one of these seven places. So one, and here we go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add your decimal point, and a leading zero. So this number in standard notation is equivalent to this. Now let's review adding in scientific notation. So to add two values written in scientific notation, we're going to write their sum in scientific notation. So our first step in this process is to look at the exponents of the powers. If the exponents are not the same, we have to rewrite one value so that they are the same. Here, I can see that my powers have the same exponent. This is much like adding like variable terms, right? They have to both have the same exponent in order to combine like terms. So x squared 
plus x squared can be added to be 2x squared, but x squared and x cubed are not like terms and we can't add them. That same rule applies when we're adding powers. Now, step two is going to be that we're going to add the factors and keep the power. Just like when you add 2x and 2x, we combine the coefficient and leave the variable. So here, we're going to identify our factors 4.1 and 7.4. We're going to add these together. 4.1 and 7.4 have a sum of 11.5. And then we're going to multiply this by the power they have in common. Now, step three is really a check. We need to look at the factor in our value and make sure that that value is equal to or greater than 1 and less than 10 we can see that this value is greater than 10. So we have to make some adjustments so that this is written in scientific notation like the instructions say. Right now, this is written with a factor and a power of 10, but it's not in scientific notation because of the value of the factor. So we need to reduce this factor by one decimal place which means to keep the balance, I'm going to make this one greater by one. So I'm gonna move this decimal place one decimal place to the left. When I do that, I get 1.15. So now that's not a rule breaker, right? That follows the rules. To keep the balance so I haven't changed the value of this number, this exponent needs to get larger because this got smaller. Tricky here. One larger than negative five is negative four. Negative five is smaller than negative four. So the sum of these two values in scientific notation is one decimal point one five multiplied by 10 to the negative four. All right, let's review subtracting in scientific notation. Similar rules to adding. The first step is if the exponents in the powers are not the same, we're going to rewrite so that they are. So my powers here have an exponent of negative 6 and negative 7. Those aren't the same. So let's rewrite. I always rewrite the second to match the first. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't matter which one you do. So I'm going to keep the first one. And then to adjust this to be negative 6, negative 6 is greater than negative 7. So this is going to go down so this can go up. So greater, less. Bigger, smaller. They have to do the opposite to keep the balance. So this becomes, we're going one decimal place smaller. So that means I'm moving it to the left to make it smaller. So I'm going to have 0 and 52 hundredths as my factor. This gets larger by 1, which means it's negative 6. Now we can see our powers are the same. So we can go to step two. We're gonna subtract our factors and keep the power. So 3.9 subtract 52 hundredths gives us a difference of three and 38 hundredths. Keeping that power, because it's the same, we have our difference written in scientific notation. Remember our step three is to check. The factor is greater than 1 and less than 10, and we have a power of a base 10. So this represents the difference of those two values in scientific notation. Now it's your turn. You're going to add and write the sum in scientific notation. Go ahead and pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So let's review our solution. So the first thing I want to do is check my powers. They are not the same. So I'm going to change the second one. I have to make this greater by 1 to match the 9, which means this has to do the opposite and go one digit smaller. So I'm going to keep my first value. This is going to move the decimal point one space to the left, making it 41 hundredths. And this is going to increase by 1 for an exponent of 9. Now I'm going to add my factors. 6.7, add 41 hundredths gives me 7 and 11 hundredths, and then we keep the power when we add. And I'm checking to make sure it's in scientific notation. I have one significant digit to the left of the decimal point, and it's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. 
So this represents the sum of these values in scientific notation. Let's try a subtraction problem. I'd like you to pause here and write the difference in scientific notation. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Here we're subtracting. So the first thing we want to do is look at our powers. Here they're the same, so we don't have to do anything. We're going to now look at our factors and we're going to subtract. 8.7 subtract 1.2 is 7.5 and we're going to keep our power. And then we want to check to make sure it's in scientific notation. My digit to the left of the decimal is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So this value is scientific notation representing the difference of these two values in scientific notation. Let's review multiplying in scientific notation. Step one when we multiply to find the product is to multiply the factors. So that's a little bit different. We're focused on the factors first. 7.5 multiplied by one, anything multiplied by one is itself. So we have 7.5. Step two is we're going we're to apply our exponent rules. We, when we multiply powers with the same base, we add the exponents. So we identify that we have 10 to the 12th and 10 to the 6th. We're multiplying, so we're going to add them. 12 plus 6 is 18. So my power is going to be 10 to the 18th power. And step three, we want to check our factor to make sure it's in scientific notation. And 7 is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So this value in scientific notation represents the product of these two values. To divide in scientific notation, and then write the quotient in scientific notation. Step one, very much like multiplying, here we're going to identify our factors and we're going to divide. 8.8 .8 divided by 4 has a quotient of 2.2. .2. Now, step two, we're going to take our powers and we're going to apply exponent rules. When you divide powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So here we're going to do 14 subtract 7, which is equal to 7. Therefore, our power is 10 to the 7th. And then step 3, we want to check to make sure we're in scientific notation. Our factor here has a leading decimal to the left of the decimal is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So that value is in scientific notation. Are you ready to do your practice? Here we go. We're going to multiply and write the product in scientific notation. Pause here, do your best work, and come back to see mine. Welcome back. So we're multiplying. So the first step is to identify our factors and multiply. 2 multiplied by 3.4 is 6.8. Now we go to our powers. We're multiplying, so we're going to use our exponent rules, keep the base 10, and add the exponents. So negative 4, add 9, is positive 5. So write our power of 10, 10 to the 5th, and it's in scientific notation because 6 is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Your turn again. Last one. I'd like you to divide and write the quotient in scientific notation. Pause now. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So to divide, we're going to look at our factors first. We're going to divide 6.3 divide by 3 gives us a quotient of 2.1. Look at your powers. I have 10 to the 8th and 10 to the negative 4. When we divide powers with the same base, we're going to subtract the exponents. 8 subtract negative 4. Keep, change, opposite. So rewrite that to be 8 add the opposite. So 8 subtract negative 4 is the same as 8 add 4 which gives me 12. So that tells me that my exponent is 12 with a base of 10. So two is greater than or equal to one and less than 10. So it's in scientific notation. So there you have it. That is operations, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing values in scientific notation. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon, subscribe, and have a great day.